Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to episode 28 in this playthrough of Civilization 6 Rise and Fall. Right, yeah, we're going to carry on where we left off last time, which we were kind of starting to assemble our forces around Nonwengu, ready to um, go and attack somebody else, maybe the Norwegians if they continue to annoy me, or whatever. We've also very recently took out the Persians, well, not took them out, but we've took the capital, we've took quite a few cities off them, so we're in a very strong position. So in this episode, we're just going to carry on, we're going to try and build up, we're going to see what techs we can get, what civics we can get, and just... It's going to be great, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So, let's end the turn to start off with... Renaissance era ends in seven turns. Ooh, very scary. I think we're on for Golden Age though, so we can be very happy. Um, yeah, so we'll get the builder just to carry on improving things. I'm more than happy for you to build a camp there, extra gold, food and production. It, you know, when you get this far in the game and you've got quite a few cities, it doesn't matter so much how much you actually like. I don't think it matters how many things you improve and things like that. Um, and what order you improve in, sorry, so, yeah. Oh, Sun Tzu, what were we going to do with you? I thought we were going to leave you down here for the time being. Might actually move you up a little bit. But for the most part, I think you can just kind of stay down there and see what happens. We will probably reunite you with some forces up near Nondwengu non um, when we're ready to attack. But right now, we're just building up and trying to fly through some turns. Australia has switched to a theocracy, nice. Good for them. I actually don't care. Do, 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 do. Right, Ruin, do you need housing? I think we do, that's why we'll be building the aqueduct here. Yeah. God, I mean Tundra's up. This is Tundra, isn't it? I think it's absolutely awful. I feel sorry for people who have to live on um, in Tundra in real life. Very sad. Um, I'm trying to think, we could probably do with some farm. Oh god, we haven't even got the wheat. Let's go and build a farm on the wheat, that'll help out with housing just while we get the aqueduct set up. Nongoma, we have just built a bank there because I'm absolutely obsessed with money, it would seem. We have a campus and a commercial hub. They're the two things I really like. Um, I've not seen any incredible location here for an industrial zone. I mean, we've got a plus two there, which eh, not worth it. We could go for a that would sort us out for housing for quite a while. And theatre squares for culture, we've, we have rejected culture a little bit at times. Or we could build a wonder. Hmm. Or trader. There's so many things we could build. I think to stop us kind of dilly-dallying, we're going to go for a neighbourhood. Now we're going to do that because housing always becomes a problem. And as we continue to expand our empire, we're probably not going to... We want all this kind of stuff started, sorted. So if we can get a neighbourhood now... We can be um, a little bit safer in the future. Where should we put it though? Questions, questions. I don't know where to put it. I think I might just stick it over here out of the way. That seems to be my uh, my current thinking on neighborhoods. Get them out of the way. Yeah, I mean, we'll put it there. Yeah, we'll put it there. Cool. Not, not an incredible tile anyway to leave, so that's fine. Repeat route, that's fine. Fine, 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 fine. I oh, remember we're kind of trying to put some troops around here as well, because we do want to take Carthage at some stage. We'll leave them there for now. Zoom out, you stupid thing. thing I've got a really crap mouse here. Crap PC, crap mouse. The whole lot will be replaced. It needs replacing. We're just going to explore for now, though. That seems good. That's what scouts are made for. Ooh, back tree. That's um, that's quite nicely set up now to start expanding because we've got the granary, so our housing is good. And we've got plus two amenities, which is nice as well. So we're in a good position to start expanding. Let's not waste our time in this city building traders and things. The bigger cities can churn them out faster. So let's start building it up with some districts. What do we fancy? Hmm. Ooh. They all take a rather a long time. A candles are good because they give housing, but right now I don't think it's going to be incredibly useful. I do like campuses and commercial. Recommending a commercial hub. Do, 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 do. Oh, the only problem is I'd want to build the harbour there, so it'd be adjacent to. See if we put a harbour there adjacent, but it gets rid of the crab. 
crab. Could go for a lighthouse though when we've got a harbour. Citizen yields plus one science plus two gold. Harbours are very nice as well. I mean, alternatively, we could go for a, a quick monument and just get that up there. I like the culture. I think we're going to go for a harbour. It takes 44 turns, but the city will grow as we're doing it, so... We could really do with a builder, actually. Maybe we could... We're probably going to... We could buy a builder, though. Yeah, I'm not waiting 16 turns, but we can just buy one. So we will produce a harbour with our labour, and then we will... Uh, no, don't really care too much about religion. Then we will purchase a builder. We do need a builder because we have to. We need to develop some of these towel, um, towels, tiles. Three hundred thirty-four. Um, yeah, three hundred forty gold. We can deal with that. All right, great city. Have you finally repaired everything in here? Yes, we have. Wow, well, we could go for a military academy. That'd be quite useful. Extra bit of housing as well. I love it when things come with housing. It, it makes me um, very happy. We've got an, we've already got an industrial zone in here as well. So if we built a factory, that would be a bonus three production. In addition to the 52 we've already got. This is a very nice city. Other things we can go for. We could go for the Taj Mahal. A nice wonder. Neighbourhood, like I said. That would be good for the housing situation. Right now, though, oh god, we haven't even got a university. That'd be really good to boost our science. Choices. Let's go for the uni, and then we'll move on. Because if we can pull ahead in science, then we'll um, we'll be absolutely smashing it. Mouses, absolute dog crap. I've no idea how long I've been recording here. I forgot to time it. Um, we'll just play it till whenever, really. Then. Right, you can actually go to Sleepy Bites. Sleepy Bites, my god, what is this? I'm talking to a, a PC game as you would possibly talk to a child. I think we'll sleep, actually, because... Yeah, no, uh, we'll sleep because we don't need her right now, and I don't want to every single turn be like, Oh, what should we do with Sun Tzu? Even though that's not her... Where is it? That's, um... That's Sun Tzu? Oh, I understand now. I understand. <laughs> wow, I've got confused now. You, my friend, are going into retirement. What a cock up. Um, there we go. That's why you were going there. Sorry about that, folks. That's a bit of a cock up. It's alright, I figured it out. I'm waking up. I'm waking. I got up. I, honestly, I got up at 12 o'clock today. That is so bad. I hate doing that. That is like, I'm actually angry at myself. What a waste of a day. My day off and I waste it in bed. Embarrassing. Yep, build a farm. Ooh, we are in Japan doing espionage things. Um. Yeah, let's see what's going on. I'd quite like a listening post. I just want to see everything. I just want to keep our eye out on what the Japanese are doing. Hmm. They do seem to be getting an absolute pasted by the Australians, but uh, I'm sure that'll sort itself out. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. You need more housing. Well, your barrack should give you a bit more housing, and then we can assess that next time. You've got a university, though, so that's the main thing. You've got lots of students out getting pissed every night. That's what uni's for. Tilburg. Oh, we've got a field cannon, so we are still building up our military. We are obsessed. Should we go for the trader? We have a couple of slots left, and I do like maxing, maxing out the traders. It seems daft not to max out the traders. Field cannon there. We are building a pretty decent force. Our field cannons will blow the well, I was, I'm blow the crap out of the Carthaginians. That'd be quite nice. I think if we get a couple more units, we could be looking very good for um, an assault on them. Valletta has built an aqueduct, which is good for housing, as usual. What should we go ahead and build here then? We could. Oh, we could just get a second trader, but... Nah, let's let's grow the city. A shipyard's nice because it gives 
like, ooh, three production. I forgot he gave that. Ship shipyards that give three production. But we don't even have a campus or anything. I think a shipyard, it will help with everything. And we're not in dire need of anything else. We're making lots of money, we're making lots of science. Build yourselves a shipyard. Buenos Aires. Could go for the arena, that's what I'm... We've built the entertainment complex. The arena would help as well. Other concerns, possibly housing, but... Nah. Let's go for the arena. That'll manage five turns, you know, and... It'll manage amenities for quite a while. Oh, we have to move this, don't we, because... Yeah. You can't have two things in the same square. Right, so we have three builds here. So the crab will be one of them. Let's work the sheep first, though. Sheep, sheep. Good. That is a really nice tile now for food and two production. Go and find me something nice, Scout. Find me Rapture from Bioshock. The game takes a weird twist. Good. This bombard is going to be so outdated by the time it gets over there. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. <gasps> Now it's time to say goodbye. Sun Tzu! Haven't we had a blast? We have done absolutely fantastically well together. It's been emotional. We've took down so many Persians up in Persian cities. We've liberated the great city of Vilnius that's now um, kind of spat in our face. But now it is time for you to take to the armchair and, um, and chill. I don't know, do something that old people do. And produce, I don't know, some maybe great writing like The Art of War. Emotional, but you know, I think it, I think it's the right time. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Very nice. How great is it as well that he's wrote this in the city, the the empire. He's he works so hard to conquer. Lovely jubbly. Um, that's going to give us four culture and four tourism, so that's nice. We're not really going after the culture victory, but it's just nice, isn't it? It's just, just emotional. Should we upgrade this to a cavalry? No point having horsemen running around anymore, is there? <laughs> cavalry. Sun Tzu's Art of War, is that? I think it's a... Is it a military manual? I think it is. It's a very famous military manual. One of the first, I think, and it's from China. There's a bit of history for you. Friendship has expired with John Curtin. Could probably do with renewing that, seeing as everybody else thinks we're like knobheads. Which we are. John Curtin, can we be friends? Oh! Sassy, alright, fair enough. I don't care. I'm not upset in the slightest. I'm not crying. <laughs> Emotional. Should we, we'll send this cavalry up here. We could. We need to start amassing troops for the for the invasion of Australia. Now they've done that, nobody crosses us and gets away with it. Ruin. We have built the farm there, which has temporarily helped housing. We have the aqueduct coming as well. What do we want to build next then? I see a very nice mine slot. Mine or farm? I mean, plus three production. Plus three production? I, th I like farms. I like the production bonuses. <laughs> I like farms. Builds a mine. That's because I got confused in my head. I like mines. I like mines. Um, we've, yes, yeah, so we just built the barracks in Babango. Bab, uh, Bab Anango. God, maybe I should, ju I just should play as England every time. Because then at least I can't screw the names of the cities up. So we'll go for... Hmm, well, we've got a campus because we've got the uni, we've got, we could go for a commercial hub. Could also look at a neighbourhood, I mean the housing situation is not exceptional, we've got a little bit of leeway, but that will soon catch up as the city grows. Could build medieval walls for no reason whatsoever. Um, did my voice crack then? Um... I don't want to build the trader here. I want to build something that's going to last. Could build an armory, but I'm not seeing the point. I think we have plenty of things like that. It would give us a bit of... No, it doesn't even give us housing, so screw that. Do, 
Right. Well, we could. I don't even know. I have a feeling my my mum's just walked in the house, so she's probably gonna walk in the room now and like says something stupid. I think we'll go for a commercial hub. Three gold will be nice. Mm -hmm. Right, I just want people to leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Just record it. Leave me alone. Um, should we stick that in there? Yeah, let's go for. Ooh, we could go for a water mill. That'd only take four turns. I think we have. I thought we had wheat here. No, it'll help us grow anyway. We have olives. Who gives a shit? Right, for you fortify. Yep, good. That's fine. I'm happy. We could farm a corpse. That wouldn't be the worst idea. We have plenty of troops to farm corpses and things. Well, we'll probably leave it for now. Upgrade to a field cannon. I don't know. There's something about the crossbowman. I just prefer to a field cannon. Um. So. We'll go for the lumber mill. And we'll also go for the crab, 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 crab fish boat. Yeah. I, I think MP warriors might be a little bit out of date by now. So we'll get rid of you. And everything else is fine. You move down there. I want to see what's going on. Ooh, an island. An island. Ooh, very exciting. Was this the island we were going to settle on with them settlers? Have I forgot about that? I thought it was the island. I think we've been mugged off here. Yes, it, it, is, it was the island. Because that city's just got a population of two. So they've just founded it. That is enough reason for me to start an unprovoked war. Oh no, it was that one. Forget that. Alex was wrong. <laughs> they better not be on here. Oh dear. They better not be on here as well. Let's bring the scout down actually, because then we can see what we're dealing with. Yeah, we've obliterated them. That was nice. I enjoyed that. Probably would have been better going for the crossbowmen though, because the crossbowmen are the only ones that can really do us some damage because they've, they've got range. The warriors were never going to like run to the sea and attack our ship. Oh no, they've brought a slinger forth as well. How on earth will we cope? Bolt actions speak louder than words. Exactly. Shoot someone. Basically what that says. Bolt action speaks louder than words. Hmm. I wanna go over here. I wanna I wanna attack something. I think we should be able to kill oh we can't quite kill that. We should be able to do enough damage that they, they run away crying their eyes out though. So that's enough for me. I'm not greedy. Yep, come over here. Oh, we're getting there. We're actually not that far off with these settlers we nicked from the Persians. We stole a lot of things from the Persians. Jesus Christ, we are closer to them than I thought there. Well, that's obviously... Uh, look at that. What a city that is. That looks incredible. I love how that looks. I really want to... I kind of want to get off. Can we get off here? Whoa, look at that. Wouldn't that look nice? Um, green. <laughs> mm, very interesting. We'll have to try and take that, I think. Yeah, we're unfriendly with them anyway, so what's a war? What does a war ma matter? Okay, so we have rifling. Now we have some really interesting ones we can go for. I love these kind of techs. So we can go for flight, which I quite like the idea of. Especially if we were thinking, oh, we could attack the Norwegians over here. If we stick an airbase on this island, that would be very nice for hopefully we could be in range and strike that way. Especially considering we are far superior in technology. With our legions. Oh, 35. So actually we're not that superior. But they are they are uh, making considerably less science than us. But still, it'd be nice to have the airbase on there. Sanitation is also good because, I mean, you can build sewers for housing, medics as well for, for war, and steel, battleships, etc. Oh, also reveals oils, so that's quite, that could be quite important. Mm. 
build a coal mine and an ironclad for steel. So it makes sense to go to kind of use the Eureka's a little bit better, wouldn't it? So I think we're building shipyards, are we? I'm sure I've seen us building a shipyard. I can't believe we haven't. Is that a shipyard? Yes, so 12 turns in quite a while. We must have one. I, does it tell you? It should tell you really, shouldn't it? It should go over and it said you have this many. Um. So maybe we should be a bit boring and go for economics. Because we can try and get the Eurekas for the other ones. We are building neighbourhoods, so sanitation will get the Eureka for anyway. We can't get the Eureka for steel until we get steel. Let's just go economics and keep working on them Eurekas. Eureka! Gotta maximise science. That's it. That's it. That's what we've got to do. Why is it recommending Renaissance War? Oh, that's probably because we're so close to Paris. I would quite like Renaissance Wars, not because like they'll make me feel any safer, I feel no threat whatsoever from the French right now. They could launch a surprise attack and I think we'd be uh, we'd be on it reasonably quickly. But just for how they look, um, let's not waste production. I'm not sure what to build here, so I think we're actually going to build the second trader that we need there. Pike and shot, I think you're fine around here. Persia could start up again, so we have to keep some form of military presence, but I'm not that worried. Um, okay, I think we're fine. Yep, I'll send you, I'll probably send you down here. Help out Antioch. But we are fine, really. There's nothing to be worried about. Quite interesting to see what this... Oh, that upgrades to artillery, so good. We're getting to the adult text now. I mean, I feel a bit stupid invading places with bombards at this stage, but I'm not that bothered. Okay, so we'll do a couple more turns and then I will end the episode, I think. Ooh, France has completed military tactics. Good for them. Uh-oh, fatal mistake. Oh no, not the slinger. I'd be really upset if some rocks sank our caravel. I would, I would be really upset. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we've just built this. Let's think. Where where could possibly need this? So we, what cities need a bit of a helping hand? Nantes is a bit small. So again, that could help there. I think back tree. I think we should try and grow that city a little bit. That could be quite good. So should we try? We'll send a trader there. Where is it? There we go. I thought it was going to be alphabetical then. That's why it confused me. Right, we'll skip turn. Yeah, we're fine here. We're amassing troops, but we've got nowhere to really send them right now. And we'll build a lumber mill. Which should help. Yeah, that's helped quite a lot with production. Um, when the trader gets there as well, we'll hopefully bring in some more production. So we'll be looking pretty good. Nongoma needs more housing, but we are dealing with that. Okay, right. We are available for a promotion here, which will be useful to heal. But we're not going to use that now. We're going to take out these crossbowmen. You really are wasting your time here, barbarians. The superior Zulu fleet will wipe you out. Skip turn. Now, why don't you send you to sleep? That city does look... Oh, what are you doing with them settlers? You better not be bringing them over here, because um, then there will be a conflict. I want that. I really want that. I've, I have a feeling... Is that the cap? I think that's the capital as well. Yes, the original capital of Norway. Look, I want that city. And when Shaka Zulu wants something, Shaka Zulu gets. Tilburg built the trader. We have got an industrial zone, so it does make sense to probably continue that and go and build a factory. We can also build another spy, so I'm, I think we'll have to do that at some point. Okay, we'll do one more turn and then we'll end the episode.
We're building a wonder in Alundi. We're building Oxford University in Alundi, and I completely forgot. You know what could make sense? If we put our... If we can get another trader in Alundi, we could boost production from there, which would help us build it quicker. Liang's in there. Um, I've, I kind of keep forgetting to use these governors. So, she, I think, yeah... Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy for you to be in there while we're building districts, but once we stop building districts, don't want you in there. You're fine in there, because that should really be our biggest output of science. It is. Marginally. But you're fine in there boosting science. What other benefits do you have again? Basically helps science and culture, but... That's fine. Oh, we get a governor title next as well, so we, could, we need to think about what we do with that. Okay, yeah, we'll end this turn, we'll finish the next one, and then, going into the new era, a new era we will, um, ooh, France has announced Norway, going into a new era, we'll start next, uh, the next episode. Frigate, oh, it's a frigate, not a caravel, what am I saying? When about? they are preparing for war, those who rule by force speak most copiously about peace. We are preparing for war a little bit. completed the mobilization process. Nice. Declare a war of territorial expansion. You should declare a war on a power that borders your empire. Must have two um, of your cities within two, ten tiles of two of the opponent's cities. Warmongering penalty reduced by 25%. I don't get that because if you're declaring a war of territorial expansion, you are literally a really big warmonger. Allows forming three identical units into an army. Nice. Because we, oh, we get armies earlier. Wow, we are going to be so... Um, powerful. Allows one new course of Bel Air that can be used to justify. Yeah, we know that. Let's change our policies. I think we must have unit. Oh, we've got. Oh, nice. We've got three era score. Because we built a neighborhood. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, because our unit maintenance reduced by one is completely useless now. Um, we might as well put this in. What else have we got in? Plus one amenity for cities with garrisoned unit. I'm happy with that. Extra science from buildings and campuses. Plus 50%. Um, if city population is 10 or greater. That's useful. I think I'm happy with every single one of these right now. It's helping us keep our um, empire happy and grow. There might be a couple of better ones. But I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm happy with where we're at. Um, so the residents of your breathtaking new neighborhood clamor for a plan to conserve all the world's natural treasures. Inspiration towards um, conservation. Elephant. Yep, and we knew we had that year score. Do we have some more? I thought it says two. Oh, because we've got mobilization as well. We've got mobilization. So we've got plus two year score for mobilization. A man on that. And then plus three for neighborhood. So that's an extra five era score we've got there. Hopefully we'll be able to carry that over to the next era and smash it again. Alliance has expired with Catherine de Medici. Okay, we might look to renew that. I'm not... I think I think we can really leave France till the end. I'm not too worried about them at all. Yeah, world's first neighborhood. Good. Roads have upgraded. Need more housing in a Lund... Oh, God. We do. That surprised me a little bit. Um, I mean, the ideal thing would be to build a neighbourhood, but we're currently building Oxford University. So, uh, I think we'll, we're not, we've got one left. We don't need to panic. We'll sort, once Oxford University is done, we'll sort it out then. Build two field cannons. That is really achievable. So we could go for colonialism. So, I mean, the envoys will be nice as well. So native conquest military. Combat victories over units from earlier eras. That would be quite good because we are technologically advanced. Um, equal to 50% of the combat strength of the defeated unit. So you get 50% gold. There. Excuse me. Um, colonial taxes. Plus 25% gold and plus 10 production in cities not on your capital's original. On, so not on your... Capital's original continent. There we go. That'll not be so useful for us right now. 
plus two science and culture and faith and gold from each city state you are Caesarian of. Yeah. I think it's worth getting just for the envoys. I don't think we are Caesarian of that many city states, if any. Oh, we are of Antioch, marginally. I think that. Oh, we are. I mean, Harold Hardrad is influencing that, so we probably don't want him to win there. Oh, we send a trade route to Antioch, though. Everyone will be a lot happier and we'll get another envoy. Uh. Okay. Right, so we need to choose production in Amsterdam. I think we go for... Uh, we've got the neighbourhood now, so our housing is absolutely exceptional. We can't build any more districts. We could build a neighbourhood's the only one. Oh, God, I wouldn't even consider a neighbourhood, sorry. Um, I was going to say entertainment complex is the only one I'd want, but our population isn't big enough right now. It will be in a few turns, so we could always follow that then. I think we'll go for a library. Just for the science. And we've got the campus, so it, it seems daft not to build the buildings in it. We also need to think about what we're doing with Liang here, because we're not building any districts in Amsterdam. So we could possibly use her, we could stick her in here and just help her, let help them build up. Also Tarsus, I mean, night in terms of the neighbourhood. So it seems daft to have her in Amsterdam, so we'll move her now. No, I always get, I always click on the wrong one for some reason. Right, reassign you to, um, back tree. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. Right, aside. Good, so she should bring that down when she gets established. Yeah, and right now, I think we're fine with this force here. We'll advance it a bit in the next episode, and then we'll look to send it somewhere. If we can get our settlement out over here, then I think it might be a good idea to station a lot of the troops there, because then we can just go over here and attack. So I think that's where we could be heading with this, but we'll see. Attack, attack. Can we kill you? We can actually kill you in one. That is how crap the slinger is right now. Good. That made me happy. Good, good, good. You can... Yeah, you just stay there. I wonder if by... Because we went on this screen, I think it took the governor thing off. But we have a promotion available. Or we can appoint a new one. So the four we have, is there anything jumping out of me that we want? A man tends to be quite useful. Um, so while established in a city, provides a copy of its luxury resource. That's nice, but we don't need it right now. Your other cities within nine tiles gain plus two loyalty per turn to your civilization. That could be useful. But what could be more useful is the plus four amenities be below it. And if we can get that, we, we could go for that one. So that's, that's a plan. That's one option. Victor could be quite useful if we capture any Persian cities, uh, Persian, any Norwegian cities. But I feel like our army should be strong enough not to really be worried about the counterattack. So I don't think we're going to really uh, promote Victor at this stage. Liang, we've already we've got like Parks and Recreation, which I do want to try out. Um, again, Fisheries would be good. But I don't think... I don't think we need to promote her again right now. Pingala... That's nice. Grants plus 100%... Have a look here. 100% great people points generated per city in this... And per turn in that city. That is a nice bonus. That is a really nice bonus. And then if we also get that, we can start looking at maybe arms race. 30% production increase to all nuclear armaments projects. And also space initiative. That would be nice if we end up going for the tech victory. That's another option. I don't want to appoint another governor right now. Yeah, I mean, there are some nice ones. I mean, Reyna seems quite good, but we don't need the finance. Magnus. Eh. 
good, but I don't think I want to kind of build on the ones we've got. So should we? We'll promote Pingala for the great people points. I think. The only other one was Amani, I said, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're gonna go Pingala. We can, we'll, we'll, yeah, I'm happy with that. Great people points, and great people will bring prizes. What do great people points bring? Prizes. Are we close to another great general? We are. Who is it this time? Oh no, we can't pronounce that. Rani Lakshim Ibai. Who are you? Ooh, she, another female general. Very nice. Cool. We'll have a read of that maybe if we end up getting her. Um, anything else we're close on? We're reasonably close on the Great Admiral, but it seems Australia will grab the next one. Well, we're not even close to Australia. Great Engineer, very close to Australia. Great Merchant, we're incredibly close to getting one for ourselves. We will get the next one. We'll get Adam Smith, the founder of economics. Um... He was on some money, wasn't he? Adam Smith and his pin factory. Great scientist. Ooh, no, we're not in the hunt for this one. We're not in the hunt for this one. They're getting nine great scientist points a turn. We are getting... We get 18, but I just don't see... I, no, they're going to get that one. They're going to get Charles Darwin. Uh, I don't quite like Charles Darwin. Great writer would have been fine. We'll probably get the next one. Great artist will probably get the next one. Yeah, I think we will. Um, and great musician. Who knows? <laughs> Antonio Vivaldi. Vivaldi. Okay. So I think... Unless what else we've got to do here. We'll just move some troops around. But we will end this uh, this turn in a second. You can stay there. You can stay there. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to go on the land, but... Yeah. Let's come over and see what's happening on the island. The island... Right, an internal trade... Oh, God. 13 gold from Antioch would be nice, but I want the internal trade route for the production. There is one that's jumping out here. Right, we're going to send it to Passagard, whatever, however you pronounce that. Oh, no, it's going through Persian te um, territory, but for production and for growth, that is going to help massively. Look at that. It broke down massively. Great. Okay. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like button on the video if you want to see more. And subscribe to the channel um, for more Civilization 6 and other stuff. Or if you just kind of enjoyed listening to me ramble, whatever. Um, so thank you for watching. And I will see you in another episode.